Hello everyone, welcome back to Playlist Pop, and today I'm going to be talking about why the original concept for the music video for The Edge of Glory by Lady Gaga got scrapped. On May 8, 2011, Lady Gaga revealed the single artwork for her third single and the first countdown single to Born This Way's release, The Edge of Glory, and the next day, May 9th, the song was released, a song about your last moment on earth, the moment of truth, as Lady Gaga described in an interview she did with Google on March 22nd, that same year. In an interview with Oprah, she explained the story behind the song saying she wrote it about her grandpa who passed away on September 24, 2011. 2010, which was the day she wrote it on the piano while her dad was next to her. Both were taking tequila shots and she also said, I started playing and I said to my dad, you know, don't be sad. He's on the edge of the most glorious moment in life when you realize that you won. I said, look how much he won at life. He won at love with grandma and he's on the edge of a glorious moment. The song took 10 minutes to create and the first lyric to come out was, there's no reason you and me should be alone. And later when putting the final touches on the song, she worked with DJ White Shadow and Fernando Garibay and it was produced by Lady Gaga and Fernando Garibay. The song also features Clarence Clemens from E Street Band who plays the saxophone solo on the song. The song was a commercial success debuting at number 3 on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts. On May 19, 2011, choreographer Lorian Gibson who also co-directed the Judas music video and Lady Gaga's Google Chrome commercial. She spoke to Wrap Up TV about the edge of Glory music video confirming they were getting ready to film the video and even though she couldn't really say much about the concept she did answer with I just know that we'll be feeling very fishy which left fans thinking a mermaid concept video was gonna be the theme to the music video. On Thursday May 25th the music video was set to be filmed during the weekend. E! Online had some details about the casting which they were looking for a Puerto Rican or Dominican guy to play Lady Gaga's lover in the video. Several men to play as couture doctors to wear white smocks and black gloves, man or woman to be an air reporter, which I'm assuming airplane reporter, and military type men who look intimidating. On June 7th, Lady Gaga announced a director for The Edge of Glory was going to be Joseph Kahn, who previously directed Love Game and AAA, parentheses nothing else I can say, from the fame era. On June 15th, she performed The Edge of Glory as a mermaid on the Le Grand Journal, which is a French news talk show. And something to know about the mermaid, which her name is Yu which I apologize if I didn't pronounce the name correctly. She is an alter ego of Lady Gaga's and that was her debut in a performance which got fans excited about the mermaid concept. She also tweeted that same day about the Edge of Glory premiering the next day, June 16, during the show So You Think You Can Dance where she was gonna guest star along with performing the Edge of Glory and You and I. And Joseph Kahn also tweeted that same day who was originally announced as the director of the music video said he did not direct the Lady Gaga video video Lady Gaga did. So the video was of Lady Gaga wearing a short blonde black wig, a black and gold bra top, thigh high fishnets, and boots, seeing her dance on a fire escape with Clarence Clemens who also makes an appearance in the music video. And this was co-directed by Lady Gaga and her production team House of Gaga. On July 7, during a media conference Lady Gaga had in Singapore, when asked what was her inspiration for the Edge of Glory music video, she said, I wanted to make something truly indicative of how I felt right now in my life. I had this whole elaborate video planned for the Edge of Glory, but once I got on the fire escape and I danced to that one outfit, I realized that it was time to just have a moment of acknowledgement for myself as a 25 year old who's been working so hard from the bottom up my whole life. She also shared when she she lived in a tiny apartment in New York. She would go on the fire escape and dance to David Bowie, Madonna, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles. I guess when you think about it, I guess it was like a full circle moment for her because for so long she was trying to make her dreams come true and she had all these visions of her living her dream. All those years that she was trying to accomplish her dreams, now she was living it and she just wanted to take a moment to take it in and just live it and be in the present and just acknowledge that, wow, look how far I've come come me living in a tiny apartment where I would imagine this to be my life and now it is my life. The video got mixed reviews, some liking it, some 
praising it and then there were people that did not like the video and called it boring and some fans were disappointed because they were expecting the mermaid concept idea that was teased earlier that year. So when fans tweeted what happened to the original concept along with criticism about the video, there were some tweets that got fans suspecting there was drama behind the scenes as to why the original concept got scrapped. Lori and Gibson responded to a tweet saying, I'm sorry there has been a slight turn of events. But then other fans also tweeted she was lying, which she responded making it very very clear she didn't lie. I found an answer, a most common one that I found online, which was, there were problems on set over a heated argument about creative differences during the filming with Lady Gaga, the team of choreographers, and Joseph Kahn. Of course this is just online, there's no official statement or media source confirming this, but I did find another source that gave more details as to what happened behind the scenes, and it was on an article from page6.com. An insider named Chancellor Haynes, who was Joseph Kahn's set editor, revealed what happened in some DMs with a fan saying, Lady Gaga's mermaid performance on June 15 was supposed to be the theme of the original music video, also saying Joseph Kahn had sets built for a hospital scene, Brooklyn Bridge, and a big underwater mermaid scene. And according to Chancellor, Lady Gaga changed her mind and told Joseph what to do, but his hands were tied. The director just didn't have control over Gaga after she started making changes, which was the end of Joseph Kahn's concept. Not only that, but three photos did leak, which Chancellor did confirm they were from the actual set. So I couldn't find those DMs that he sent to that fan online, but it does seem like the information does connect everything together. I did leave a link to the article down below so you can check it out and let me know what you think. But the information didn't stop there. A few years later, the topic of the original Edge of Glory music video did come up. On June 4, 2015, one of the dancers, Jason Carter, who was in the video for Lady Gaga, revealed in an interview on Hey Queen that an original video was filmed and he described it as epic, also revealing that Joseph Kahn directed it. She was a fish, which I'm guessing he meant mermaid, but maybe she was and she did a transformation, saying she was dressed in all Versace. When asked what happened, he said he wasn't sure why the other one got released instead. But Lady Gaga didn't give up on the mermaid concept, which I'm sure you can guess, I mean the next single and music video for You and I. On June 24th, Lady Gaga tweeted about Yui the mermaid, which said, a reincarnation of my birth plus artistic spirit in incubation awaiting a human lover to save her, Yui the mermaid coming, which I'm assuming she was teasing about the You and I music video. And again, she tweeted about her the next month on July 15, talking about a new video and how passionate she was about the concept. You and I was announced as the next single on July 22nd, and the video was released on August, which the video was directed by Lady Gaga and Lorianne Gibson, along with it having another alter ego of Lady Gaga named Joe Cotteron, and I apologize if I didn't pronounce his last name correctly. And basically in the video, we see Lady Gaga as Yuri the Mermaid, her love interest played by Taylor Kennys. So besides her different alter egos, there is also symbolism for some of her more intense life experiences and more. Also fun fact about the wedding dress she wears in the video was actually her mom's wedding dress, which Lady Gaga actually hated, but around 13 or 14, she fell in love with her wedding dress and asked her if she could wear it for this video because of the love her mother and father shared for almost 30 years at the time, which she hopes to have someday. So there were a few more rumor details about the original Edge of Glory, and I found it on allmyladygaga.com. One of them was the singer would wear a blue-green wig. Lady Gaga would pass at the end of the video, but in the U and I video, she didn't. She was still alive. Something about an operating room and the sky, so maybe we got to see her in the afterlife. So who knows what happened to that footage that was filmed for the original idea for the Edge of Glory. Maybe the whole video wasn't completely filmed and they just have maybe a minute or so done and they decide just to scrap it all since there was creative differences. But I would have loved to see it because when I do hear the Edge of Glory, I do think of the water. I mean, the production just feels like aqua when you, at least for me, when I hear the song, I do visualize like Atlantica and mermaids. So it would have been cool to get that concept for that video. Who knows, maybe one day we will get to see that footage of the original Edge of Glory or maybe Lady Gaga will release it and share what could have been in a future anniversary for Born This Way. You know, at the same time, I'm okay because we did get it in the future, right? We got it on you and I and I liked you and I. 
I loved everything about it. So let me know in the comments, did you know about the original concept for the Edge of Glory? Were you disappointed when you saw the video that we ended up getting? If there is a chance that Lady Gaga were to release at least maybe that one minute or whatever footage that she has from the original Edge of Glory, would you like to see it? Share it in the comments. Don't forget to hit like if you did like the video and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you later.